The powder handling station is a supporting device designed to make post-processing and powder recovery as clean and efficient as possible. Centret is the first to offer an end-to-end -end solution that meets all your needs and covers the entire process of making prints with SLS technology. We can divide the whole PHS workflow into five simple steps. Let's see how it works. How do you turn the PHS on? Simply turn on the ATEX vacuum cleaner. Then, from the control panel, turn on the lights and start the machine. You can consider the Centret ATEX vacuum cleaner as a suction engine for the PHS. The vacuum cleaner is a device that you can turn on and off, and the PHS will detect the suction and will work in sync with it. Now, take the cake out using the I.O. box from the second drawer. The short distance from the printer to the PHS prevents powder from spilling. You can do all depowdering processes on the PHS worktop. You can see two grids, a larger and a smaller one. Start cleaning the print on the larger one, where initial depowdering takes place, and finish on the smaller one. Remember, all the tools that you need are always at hand. Depending on the type of print, you can either clean it the traditional way, or you can use the suction hose with the dedicated nozzles. After initial depowdering, put the print aside on the worktop and push the remaining powder into the powder chamber. On its bottom, there is a powder feeding screw mechanism that transports all the powder to the sifting module, where it will be recycled. On the smaller grid, you can precisely clean your printout. All the tools you need can be found in the tool board above the worktop. The powder from the cleaning process gets sucked through the suction hole to the fine dust chamber inside the PHS. It is then transported by vacuum to the powder separator and to the sifting module. To polish your diamond, that is, to blast your printout, simply use the sandblaster located on the right side of the PHS. We recommend the extra large model, but the PHS is also compatible with the standard sandblaster. With the help of the PHS, you can also easily and quickly clean the printer and the workplace. Start with the powder wiper for cleaning the worktop. For the rest of the cleaning work, use our ATEX vacuum cleaner. To do so, take out the suction handle from the PHS socket. Clean up any remaining powder on the PHS worktop. Then, clean up the printer from any uncentered powder. As you can see, each stage of the process can be performed within one work area. Everything important is located close to each other. That is the real ergonomics of SLS. But this is not the end. The PHS has one more key function. With the PHS, you can refresh and recycle unused powder. Refreshing means adding fresh powder and then mixing it to get a homogeneous mix of print-ready powder. Sifting has been happening since the vacuum started. The vibrating seed is still working for some time, even after turning off the vacuum. When sifting has been completed, you can open the door, unlock the clamping ring on the metal container, then unlock the container drawer lock and slide the metal container drawer out. Replace the container with an empty one from the third drawer. Add a proper amount of fresh powder to the sifted, recycled powder, and then put this mixture into the powder chamber. Remember to turn off the vacuum and PHS. You should repeat this process two to three times to get a homogeneous mix of powder. After the process is finished, you get a print-ready powder, ready to be used again. As you can see, SLS post-processing with a PHS is super fast. To learn more, visit Centret.com or contact your local distributor.